Hi everyone, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a little garden tour of my kitchen gardens. My kitchen gardens are behind me in pallet planters and I have made these on wheels. Um, I made these basically because a lot of our property has paving and concrete and I didn't have a lot of space to grow my gardens. But after living here for a little while I figured out that the best winter sun was down the side here. So I have a mixture of pallet planters and um, pots. I have this kumquat in a pot and I have a few other things. Um, so let's get started. So this is our kitchen here and the pallet planters are right outside. I can see from my kitchen um, my gardens and it is so easy to come out at night and just pick one or two things that I need for dinner. So at the moment I have growing all basically random stuff in all of them. There's not really a set one for a set type of vegetable. Um, so what have we got in this one? I've just been planting a few little seeds and seedlings. I always, like, you can see random sprinkled seeds have started popping up. And here we have a spring onion that I grew, have planted from scraps. So I just come out here and put things in all the time. Um, these are onions, which I have growing here. This is a red celery. You can't really see the red on this one but it's supposed to be red celery slightly red at the base I think the other one is more red I have beetroot and I've been picking just the outer leaves on these to eat in my stir fries and salads um, as long as you leave enough for the plant to keep growing you can eat the leaves and the beetroot as well um, and because the beetroot are getting closer to being ready I've planted oh, looks a little bit damaged but I've planted a few little seedlings underneath and some seeds because once these are picked um, these ones will already be growing and it makes a really good succession planting um, I like the diversity of having lots of different things in at once um, so here I think is a broccoli not 100% sure and I have some salad, greens, some lettuce, um, there's a baby rainbow chard, a yellow one, and more onions and spread in there, and this beautiful um, pansy with like a variegated, I've never seen that before, so of course I had to have it. Um, I've planted a few little lettuce seedlings in here and that is a sea holly this one is a red cabbage which is coming along nicely and then i've just planted a purple cauliflower in there because again once this is ready hopefully i will have that already established here's a few little seedlings that i have yet to plant these are kohlrabi and some fennel and in this one I have some silver beet, another brassica which I have no idea what that is. Um, when the leaves get a little bit like ratty and old I just pick them off and I just throw them back in. There's heaps of worms in these beds so they can eat that and that way there's always a little bit more nutrients going back into these planters because the plants are obviously depleting the limited supply that's in this box so it is important that I do put nutrients back into here um, and I do that with some compost and homemade fertilizers and some seaweed solution um, and here we have some white beetroot which I've never grown before the there's the red celery again. I don't know if you can see the red. It's got slightly red at the base. 
Um, what else is in here? More beetroot, garlic, um, a lettuce. My one of my eggplants that is looking a little bit sad now that it is winter, but it's still going, and I'm just letting it do its thing. More beetroot. This one is pretty much all beetroot. There's a little lettuce there. And I just planted a, a little fennel. Um, I think that's pretty much it for that one. It's mainly beetroot. My little, I've just planted another little salad pot. Um, I had a monstera cutting in here, which I've just planted all around it. So, don't know. See if that'll work. This one is definitely a mixed bag. Got tatsoi, um, silver beet. Just planted a little purple cauliflower, uh, dianthus, which have been cranking, but they I'm looking a little bit sad today. This beautiful pink rainbow chard. Some rocket, a garlic, tatsoi, some beetroots, more tatsoi, watermelon radish, there's quite a few watermelon radishes in this one, um, lettuce, I've just planted another little cauliflower in there, white beetroot, this one has gone to seed, but or gone to flower, but I'm just letting that go because the bees love it. That is a type of Asian green. I can't remember if that's Tats, um, Hon Tai Sai. I can't remember the name of that one. Um, I just planted a little broccoli. Got some pink chard, lettuce, dianthus. So the fruit that I have chosen to plant in pots are ones that are super prolific and I don't need um, massive trees to get a whole lot of fruit. Um, so the kumquat and the mulberry should do really well here in my kitchen garden because yeah, I don't need massive plants to get a whole bunch of fruit. Look at these cute little things. I'm going to pick this today because I've been procrastinating because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to make with it and they'll last a lot longer on the tree rather than picking them and not knowing what I'm doing with them um, and they are getting a lot sweeter so I think I will pick these today so I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them but I'm thinking I'm going to infuse some vodka and I'm also going to try maybe a marmalade we'll see here we have my pineapples which are looking a little bit sad in winter and this one actually had a casualty pot so it's just sitting in a bucket for now my white mulberry which is starting to fruit I'm so excited for this I grew this from a cutting and it is looking so good it is got lots of little shoots and fruits on it Um, hibiscus I have and my chili which is looking pretty sad I really need to cut this back and some garlic this one I have my Rio mesh for climbing plants which I don't have any growing at the moment um, with my solar fairy lights which are looking so nice at night I'll put a link to those in the description um, I have chilies in this one, which I also need to cut back. I did cut back a little bit, but they're still producing, so. And shooting off lots of new little growths. Again with this one. I cut this one way back, but it's shooting off again. Some random parsley seeds. That is a purple cauliflower I just planted. Watermelon radish, a garlic. I have 
random garlics just in anywhere and more chili plants and that big guy at the back here is my tumbler compost bin in the corner um, which is also really close to my kitchen so I can put my scraps in there and as you can see we have a massive stack of pallets so those will be turning into a couple new planters and I will have six of the big ones and I've got this little one here which I think will be so good for summer because what I do in summer is I can put them in under this undercover area and stop them getting the midday sun so yeah it'll be so good to have some more of my pallet planters ready for spring and summer um, I have they have absolutely transformed my gardening um, because I'm able to bring them out of the midday sun and give them a little bit of a relief from those 40 degree days in summer um, so what I'm gonna plant next in these is I will stop putting more I'll stop with the seed sprinkling and seedlings for now and once everything in there is finished I'm gonna put in a whole new layer of compost um, maybe some composted manure and get them ready for spring I'll start planting my seeds this month in August so what I'm gonna plant in these and over the summer period is my is some of the things that I often struggle with which is cucumbers I grew them in the pallet planters last summer and they were so good um, they just did not love the midday really scorching hot days so being able to put them under cover was really really good so I'm gonna do those again um, I'm gonna do cherry tomatoes and basil in one of them and what else am I gonna do yeah I might do a few more tomato varieties so what I like to grow in my kitchen gardens are things that I use all the time that I just want to grab one or two of and I can easily just grab them from the kitchen can you my dog is snoring Me. trying to film <laughs> okay let's do that again so yeah what I like to grow in my kitchen garden is things that I just want to grab one or two things from and have that really close and convenient access from my kitchen um, and because we've got the outdoor lights out here as well I can come out here and pitch black and just turn on the light and pick what I need without doing a mad dash out to the garden with the torch um, so yeah like at the moment salad greens herbs so good still having a few chilies as you can see we have plenty of space for a few more so fingers crossed can get those done um, shortly Hayland's list is getting longer and longer just do an update on my hanging garden um, I have a few little edible flowers and I've actually been using it as a seed starter so I've planted all these lettuce seeds here and they don't grow very quickly because it's so shallow but I've just been using it as a seed start and then I've just been pulling these out and putting them in the pallet planters or in the garden and it's working really well so yeah that's a new way that I've been using this hanging garden look at that one it's getting a little bit bigger but they don't tend to get very big and it dries out really quickly because it's so shallow um, down here we have parsley which has gone to seed and I've just been collecting some of these seeds and popping them back in the garden I really want to get something growing up here though this is the Hardenberg ear growing up here but it seems to like not have any leaves it's planted in the bottom and it's only got leaves up the top So yeah, I need to sort out my climbing plant situation. And of course the tea garden, which is looking really good. 
and on my kitchen bench I have a few scraps growing. I have a leek which has started to send off roots and this is a fennel from my garden which I chopped off and it is regrowing. And then out there is the kitchen garden. So I pretty much get all of my greens and veggies from the garden. I don't buy any anymore. Um, as you can see I have plenty of greens to last me. And I also have the pumpkins that I grow. I have root vegetables like beetroot and carrots. Lots of different varieties. So crunchy and fresh. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little kitchen garden tour. If you have any questions about what I've got growing or my palette planters, um, please leave me a message in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends and inspire more people to start growing their own food.